So the other day I was talking to another artist on YouTube who is a bit bigger and they were talking at length about how they thought our delusional artist is bullying and mean and should be taken down because it hurts artists and artists are really sensitive people and we should be taken care of. And they asked me, they wanted me, little old creep show art, to make a video about why this is mean, why our delusional artist is mean, why it should be taken down, because it would make more sense coming from me since that's more on brand for my channel. So this is a video, you guys are kidding. <laughs> If it wasn't obvious from what I just said, I am not going to be making a video about how our delusional artist is mean, evil, and full of evil people who are bullies because frankly, it's not. Instead, I'm just going to sit here and review our delusional artist as a person who does art online with you guys. And I hope this is a thing that I can continue to do because I like it. I think it's fun and I pray Honestly, that I never end up on this thread because if I do, oh my god, I'm going to commit no longer alive. Just kidding, I think it'd be hilarious. Also, just forewarning, if it looks like the art in the back is trying to, like, it's just stupid, here's what I was going for. I wanted to do, like, a using every color in the Jeffree Star Alien palette when it was launched, but one, I don't like the art in this video. I don't like it. I didn't like what I ended up with. And two, um, yeah, I guess it was only one. I don't know why I tried to make it a list. I don't really like the art in this video. Um, but for whatever reason, I keep having problems where like I'll only be able to download one video uh, to edit and upload. And this was the one video my computer chose to accept. So there we go. If that's an issue with you, I am so sorry. Please tell me all about how you hate it in the comments down below. Let's get to reviewing. Okay, so this is Mysterious Kitty. It's 16 by 12 acrylic on canvas. And it is, oh my god, it's $65. 65 whole dollars. My god. This motherfucker, this motherfucking artist asshat person who made this looking bitch couldn't even put a cat face on it. Like, he couldn't even be fucked to, like, make a little kitten and make it cute. Oh, God, that bothers me. Why? Like, it just... I'm gonna put a little cat face on it. So, like, hold on. Okay, see, look. Look at him. His name is Bradley, and he's wonky, but, like, he's a little cutie. And I, I would, like, buy him at a garage sale. I'd pick him up for, like, a quarter or so. Like, he'd be cute on, like, the dining room table. But, like, the fact that someone had the balls to post this and ask for $65. Not ironically, I'm gonna assume this person didn't do this to end up here. So like, that's the equivalent of 11 Starbucks drinks. So that like, that blows my fucking asshole all the way off. Okay, this one is Tentacle Mermaid do plush doll. I read that correctly. And it's $75. I like this. Like, I would actually buy that. Like, I'm not being facetious or anything. But if I had $75 to spend that wasn't, like, essential for me living and existing here on Earth, like, I would drop $75 for this absolute little cutie. I don't understand what her dress is doing, but I love it. Like, I'd, I'd buy this completely. I think what I would do with it is either move it around my apartment, like, put it in different various places, like, behind the television on like a ledge, on a fan, you know, like everywhere and convince my boyfriend that I didn't move it and it's moving on its own. Or I would just have it like sit in my car window probably and have it scare birds away. So yeah, that's, I, I would spend $75 on that. Fuck me up. Who made this? If you guys can find who actually made this and link it down, like I would, I would appreciate that. This next piece is entitled A Painting, which is wrong because I can see, if I can see the fucking pen strokes, the marker strokes, bitch, how are you going to tell me that that's a painting? This is not a bitch ass motherfucking painting. Are you fu like, mm, this absolute fucking lemon wanted to do a bamboozle and guess what, you idiot. You got, you picked the wrong one. I'm a pro artist now and I can deduce through my skills of art that you're a bitch. Fucking goddamn. And they're asking, they're asking for 1500 This is like, this is a troll. This is someone who like purposely wants to end up here. 
Because there's no way someone drew this cow ass looking dog and was like a thousand dollars. This was this is bullshit. Okay, this next one's called Artist Drawing. And this one's fucking reasonable. I don't know why this is on here. Why is this on here? I feel like so far we've only had like one thing I wouldn't actually buy, non-ironically. Like I, I would have bought the Mysterious Kitty if it was like 25 cents. I would spend $75 on the Tentacle Girl. The painting I, a painting I wouldn't get, like, cause that pisses me off, like non-ironically. Like I'm mad about that one. And this one, I would spend $5 on this. Like, this is reasonably priced. I don't know what it is, but like, this is also the last photo in a set of photos. So maybe the person just picked the wonkiest one so I can't tell what it is. But it, like, I don't know. I would hang this up in my bathroom. Like, I'm not an interior designer or anything. I just like weird shit and I like displaying weird shit around me. It makes me happy. My fucking hashtag is Amber number one butt slut and my name is Shannon and that it, it, like it eventually I just want to turn my entire existence into some kind of strange shrine of oddities. So yeah, I would like I would hang this up in my bathroom because imagine you're a stranger and you came into my house for tea or something like normal people do and you need to use the lavatory and so you go in the bathroom and you look up and you see this like you would never want to hang out with me again. And that's kind of the vibe, I think, is what I'm going for in my house. This, so, in summation, TED Talk over, this doesn't deserve to be on here, and I would not ironically own this. Bratz Repaint Doll 2649. Oh, I love this. This is fucking creepy, though. Like, I, uh, mm, I like this because it's creepy. I know she, like, looks honestly terrible, but I, I like her. I think I would name her Barb. And again, do, like, a haunted elf on the shelf type thing just put her different places and hide her and when someone finds her I can hide her somewhere else I think that'd be great she to me she kind of looks like if she had a lot of hopes and dreams growing up and she grew up fine and everything was fine and then the person who is standing to the left or right I don't know what direction she's actually looking at like the person who is standing in her eyeline ruined her entire life like, caused a car accident that killed her entire family, and they're mostly responsible, or she holds them responsible for her declining sanity, and she's going to absolutely positively destroy them. That's what I think when I look at her, and I like that, and I would spend twenty six forty nine. That's fucking reasonable as heck. In summation, so far, I've only not liked one thing. <laughs> I, I like want this. I want her. If someone can gift this to me, I'll drop my Addy in the fucking description. Devil Twins, $25. Oh no. Okay, so the person who made this is obviously a beginner and they're really young. And this is an art style that I see in most beginners who are really young, usually on DeviantArt. So I don't want to be mean and I don't want to be not productive. But also I do want to point out that the one on the left looks like she pissed her damn self. I know she didn't and it's just like a fur pattern or something. But like actually look at this and tell me it doesn't look like she piddled in her pants. But she's really proud of it because she's smiling. She's happy that she did this and she's like kind of stating it. Like yes, I, I peed myself and that's fine. But her friend who's holding her hand is more uncomfortable with it. Like she didn't know that she was getting into this and their hands are tied together for some reason. So like she's just genuinely embarrassed and wants her friend to go wipe up and change. But her friend's really proud of uh, peeing. So that's what I get from this. I'm not going to say anything about like technique or anything like that. Uh, this person should continue drawing. They do have a lot of potential seen as they can mimic faces pretty well. But yeah, just be mindful, all beginners to art, that if you do shading like this on the legs, it will look like they're into piss play and like that's the tea, sis. George Bush getting his dick sucked by an alien while painting kids killing cops. Oh my god. This is $80, but straight up, if I'm being like, I'm not kidding, I would pay more for this if I was, if I'm being honest with you. Like, I, this is Nicolas Cage levels of national treasure. And I, like, I want to know who drew this and ask them why. Like, how did this concept come to you? Do you plan out what you're going to draw before you do it? Do you, like, how, what is your process? Because, like, this is amazing. This is such a weird piece and I want to, I almost want to get this tattooed on me, which is weird because I, 
I want to know the person who made this and I want to like ask them if I can, I don't know. I want to own this. I do want to own this. That is for damn sure. Keep this in my like kitchen to look up with when I'm like cooking, I guess. I never cook, but oh, also just as a thing, I wanted to ask you guys eventually, uh, around some kind of milestone, like whatever milestone I hit, uh, if I did a contest where I ask you guys to design a tattoo for me and you guys can vote on which tattoo you want me to get, all that stuff, it'll be a whole thing. Would that be a good idea? Would that be a fun subscriber milestone or because I'm getting the tattoo, would you guys just find that to be annoying? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if I should get this tattooed on me because I love it. I love it so much because I, I want to understand and I don't. Also, if you can fucking find the artist, let them know. I love them. Oh no, my god, Bob. Oh my god, Bob, no. Oh my god. What the fuck, guys? Who did this? Like, this is... I don't think Bob would be upset. He just wanted people to express himself. But I feel like this is borderline disrespectful. His teeth are different, like, colored corn kernels. And it just looks like that fucking corn you buy at Michael's that is, like, brown and then white and then yellow and then brown again. Like, it's not... Oh, baby. Baby, no. Godzilla jumping downtown Atlanta and this was made in 2016 by apparently Nona or Nina I don't know I have a lot of questions about this first off I could hardly see Godzilla because it looks like there's a dick shaped mountain behind him that's the same color but that's neither here nor there but first question how did you get the price of 86.75 like that 75 feels very random and I, I don't know if I'm alone in this, but I really like rounded numbers. So like instead of eighty six seventy five, just be like eighty seven dollars. I the seventy five makes it feel really specific and I kinda wanna know how you get to that point. Like, I don't know. I I'm genuinely confused at that. But I also like feel like there's kind of a story here. And that's what I wanna know. I think with most of these there's a story behind them that I'm not getting, but I'm very curious to. Like, why is Godzilla jumping? Is he jumping out of joy? Is he happy? Because it looks like, it doesn't look like he's happy. He just has one eye open and kind of like a slanty mouth. But is he scared? Why is he jumping? Or when they say jumping, do they mean like he's jumping as in robbing the person? There's a lot happening in this piece. And much like the George W. Bush one, I want to own it. But I also want to know how it came to be because it, it's like cute. It's like actually, it, it doesn't, it's not offensive. I would, if I had money, I'd pay for it. Oh my God. And then finally, oh my God, I fucking love this. Renaissance or like pre-Renaissance or whatever, like older paintings and older media that is done terribly is my absolute favorite. Like you don't understand. I took an art history class in high school and I wanted, from that class, I saw bad art throughout history, and I wanted to teach art history for that specific reason. There is also, fun fact, just a trend in, like, old paintings, like, Renaissance-era paintings with, like, the, all the greats, where they just didn't know how to draw or paint babies or cats, so they would put fully human faces on infants and animals, and it's just glorious. And I fucking, I love them so much. And I I just, I love that the eyes can't even be fucked enough to go in the same direction. And they're so big that it, it just looks like a soft round My Little Pony face. Not like this era of My Little Pony where one's a unicorn and they go to high school also. I don't know what's going on with My Little Pony. But like the ones when I was a child and I grew up, it looks like that round pony face. Not the ones that the people want to have sex with, you know? Oh my god, I fucking love- I'm- I fuck- I like non-ironically love all of these. And that's an issue. So I'm gonna stop it here because I'm actually having a really good time. And I might want to do this again because this is fun. But like- now that I've looked deeper into delusional artists, I'm so not afraid of ending up here because I love everything on here. <laughs> so if you guys liked this video, let me know in the comments down below. If you hate it, let me know as well. I'll never do it again. 
but I hope you guys had a genuinely sick ass day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.